One of the most frustrating aspects of researching your ancestry can be found in the naming traditions of our ancestors. For many generations, a family would honor past ancestors by naming the children after beloved progenitors of the past. When this happens and you're faced with several individuals in a community with the same name, how do you make sure you're on the right track? Here are a few guidelines to follow. One, step back and take a broader look at the person's life. The identity of each individual is comprised of many factual puzzle pieces that fit together just right. For instance, beyond birth and death, a person had an occupation, a residence, and other family members. One important way to help identify the correct individual is by looking at their family members, both past and present. Sometimes the family unit in name and age listed over a few decades in the census can help confirm or rule out an ancestral candidate. Two, do the math. Are the years of activity over time making sense according to the age the person should be at the time in question? If you're searching for your Civil War ancestor, don't claim a person who had the right name but was only 10 years old in 1865. Three, map it out. Study the location of residence for a potential ancestor and then apply this to known or suspected family migration routes. And remember, just because your ancestor moves to another county doesn't rule out their potential. Sometimes the county boundaries moved around them instead of the other way around. So in conclusion, just remember this final rule. No one piece of documentation will confirm the identity of an ancestor. Multiple pieces of information have to align just correctly in order to affix this person to your tree.